Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video, we're going to go over all the uh, Unity based errors while uploading an avatar. Uh, rather, if you just got an avatar and you're putting it into your Unity and then you can't upload it. Or if you, let's say, are going back to your old avatar, old projects, and you're trying to upload the avatar and it is not working. So today we're gonna I'm gonna go over basic few errors the one I know that fixed stuff for me so um, let's get into it now one quick little thing before we uh, start this is mostly for PC uh, avatars only and for PC unity projects as well so if you're having some quest related issues then I'm sorry but I'm not I'm not gonna be able to fix that there so the first two main things that can uh, be an issue while uploading while uploading an avatar is either your dynamic bones and or physic bones and uh, Poyomi shaders or any kind of shaders that you're using now uh, this can basically mean that when you try to upload uh, your avatar in the VRChat SDK uh, it's going to spawn in a new prefab here in your assets and it's not going to allow you to upload your avatar even though you don't have any fixes here. Now usually when you have auto fixes you can just you're able to just click them auto fix auto fix and it'll fix it for you and then you can upload. But sometimes it'll spawn in a prefab here and it's going to basically prevent you from uploading the avatar. So what you can do is you can hover over to this console panel here and in this little search bar you can either type in dynamic bones or in my case, if I'm using Poyomi, you can type in Poyomi. Now, something like this, if it's uh, yellow, it usually means it's fine. You can upload your avatar, but if it's red, that's what you're basically looking for. So if it's red and it says Poyomi, what I would advise is basically uh, going back to your projects and then in this little window, uh, search Poyomi and basically delete anything that has uh, to do with Poyomi shaders and then basically re-importing them into your Unity. Now, as I said before, if it's not Poyomi, it can also be issues with your dynamic bones. So even though we switched to physic bones, uh, some avatars still might have dynamic bone scripts. So you just have to type in dynamic bones. And if you see dynamic bones like this, you're able to just delete them so that it doesn't overwrite the default uh, physic bones. And while we're on the topic of uh, shaders, one also important thing is make sure that your avatar, everything on your avatar uses same shader. So in every material, make sure you have the same shader on. Otherwise, uh, you might even crash yourself when you boot into VRChat. So just make sure that your entire avatar uses uh, one type of shader. One also thing that can be wrong is uh, your avatar, if it was edited, the base was changed in any kind of way, it can have uh, pumpkin tools or uh, some kind of uh, edit editors like that. So you might want to search for those if you know that the avatar uses those. Uh, you can search for it here and then just delete those and then you should be ready to upload your avatar. Now next thing that can happen is missing scripts from your avatar. Uh, this can usually mean if uh, the, your avatar is either missing like uh, visemes or if it's missing expressions or any kind of stuff like that. Now usually new avatars, newer avatars don't have this issue, but some older avatars, you know, Unity might have broken them. So what you have to do is you have either search for those and then you have to delete them uh, and or you just have to click auto detect and it'll auto detect the visings. Now, even though we switched to physic bones, there can still be some issues with the physic bones. For example, it's missing on the on your uh, wings or it's missing on your tail or it's missing on your hair. So you just basically have to go ahead and find where those uh, bones are and just re uh, just delete them and then re add them. Now, one of the main and biggest problems, I would say, uh, that breaks Unity projects, especially old Unity projects, is SDK. As you can see in this case, uh, it says VRC SDK right here. Um, and that usually means that something went wrong with the SDK. Now there's two ways uh, that you can fix this. You can either export your avatar. Uh, so export, export the entire project, make, create a new project. And then when importing, make sure that you disable in the window, uh, make sure that you don't import the SDK. Uh, the way you export your avatar is you s have it selected here, go assets, and then go export package. And then when you're importing it into your Unity, a small window will pop up. Before clicking import, go ahead and find VRC SDK and just uncheck it and then import into the project. Or you can do it the risky way and you can just delete the VRChat SDK from this project and then you can re-import the new one. 
Now there is a new uh, thing that's coming out. I think it even came out by VRChat itself. They have their new emulator or how you want to call it. So you don't use Unity Hub that you use basically their emulator. And most of these issues are going to be less common with that new program. When I'm used to it and it's a little bit more out, I will do videos on that as well. But for now, this is just a Unity based issues. One also thing, if you click on your avatar and if the controller here, if you see the controller, um, you can go ahead and set that to none. Usually that doesn't prevent you from uploading your avatar, but just in case it does, um, you're going to go ahead and make sure that it says none in controller when uploading the avatar. Also, um, if you're, let's say, re-uploading an old avatar or it's just it's giving you a, a blueprint error, the way you fix that is you click on your avatar and you detach this blueprint here. So you're just going to go detach it and then you can upload your avatar again. Now, like I said before, um, uh, most of your issues are going to appear here red like this. And um, in my case, and usually in Unity case, it doesn't tell you the exact issue um, of what the what the what's the what went wrong. Uh, but this is basically the video on that I did on the common issues that I had and all the problems that fixed it for me. So your best bet is to just either create a new project by exporting your avatar, importing into a new project and starting uh, a fresh start and or uh, because the old projects are just they can be either too broken because of either animations or toggles, etc. So personal opinion, you should create a new project and just start from scratch. That's usually not ideal all the time, but that is why you're exporting your avatar. And then when importing into a new project, let's say without the shaders and, and dynamic bones, you can see that it's something wrong with either those two things or if the avatar itself is broken. But that is pretty much it on the common issues that I know for uh, Unity. If I figure more stuff or if something comes to my mind more, uh, I will make a video on it. But I hope that some of these things helped you guys out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have some questions. Uh, leave them and I'll answer them. Or you can reach to me on my Discord. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you around.